are we doing the best that we can? We are. We are doing the best that we can with what we accept as a part of who we are as a human being, right here, right now. And as we accept more of who we are as a human being, we do even better. We even do better because we have a greater understanding of who it is that we are, who we are as an organic being with a nervous system that senses fear, with a opportunity to love and fear life, to love and fear the experience of being human. And the more we embrace this fear as a part of who we are as a human being, we are doing our best with what we accept right here, right now. We are doing the best that we can. And as we embrace something that keeps us from moving forward, keeps us from evolving, when we embrace and understand it as a part of who we are, we can move past it. We can move past it and work with it in a way that we understand. We understand it as a part of who we are as a human being. We understand that fear and love is what makes us unique. It's what makes us have the opportunity to have interaction, to have relationship, to have differences. When we can accept this, we are doing the absolute best we can as a human being. So are we doing the best we can today? We are. We are doing the best we can with what we accept as a part of who we are as a human being. For us to even do better, we can embrace this fear as a part of who we are and we can take doing our best to who knows where, who knows how great we can become. Because when we acknowledge that right here, right now, we are doing our best. We are doing our best at being a human, at being someone who understands and accepts all of who we are as a human being, the love and the fear, so that we can understand the behaviors that don't do us justice, don't do us the opportunity to truly see who we are as unconditional love. and understand them as this experience of fear. So we can understand them in a way that allows us to move past them. To understand them in a way that allows us to be efficient in the way that we see them so we can take that step forward. There are many ways that we can work with accepting this fear as a part of who we are. There are life coaches, there are counselors, there are priests, there are friends, there are massage therapists, there are doctors, there are people in our society that are there to help you. And you are there to help those who might need help accepting something that you have already accepted. And this is how we support each other. This is how we support each other in doing our best. Because when I do my best in accepting my own fear, I become an inspiration for those around me who need help in accepting that they have fear. And when we can all be this example for ourselves, the best example of a human being, by accepting both the love and fear as a part of who we are, we all become the example. We all become the example of this unconditional love expressing itself through the love and fear of being human. 
Are you doing your best? This is my challenge to you. When we practice breathing past the chest and the shallow breath of the fight or flight instinct and breathe into our lower belly, we have an opportunity to relax into the experience of being human, relax into the experience of fear, to allow it to assimilate in our body in a very organic way. So my challenge to you is to practice this abdominal breathing for one minute a day. I have put together a one minute meditation. It's a daily email you get as an opportunity to take one minute out of your day to work on your breathing. These daily meditations are videos that are with imagery and color and vibration and music that help you through this one minute of breathing. And this is my challenge to you to log into the daily meditations with unconditional love and practice this opportunity to relax into the experience of being human rather than coming from the fight or flight, the fight or flight of the shallow breath in the chest when we can ground ourselves in the experience of being human, we allow the fear to organically assimilate and rest in it being okay to experience it. So we can learn how to have more fun with it. So we can learn how to have more excitement, more inspiration, more passion. Let's do our best. Let's do our best together by accepting more of who we are as a human being. Click the link below to sign up for the daily meditation. And take the challenge of embracing exactly who you are. as unconditional love expressing itself through the love and fear that makes you a unique human being. And when you can accept this unconditional love inside of yourself, you can begin to see it in others. And when you can see it in others, you can see it all around. And when you can see it all around, this is heaven on earth. This is right here, right now. Thank you. Take care. Aloha.